Hi, my name is Ryan Benton. I have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I'm 32 years old and currently have been treated these last 10 years with adult stem cells. Muscular dystrophy is a muscle wasting disease and I'll see a slight increase in muscle strength, but it'll also stabilize and stop the muscle tissue from wasting away. So, I mean, you name it, whatever ordinary things that you're doing every day become just the slightest bit easier because those muscle fibers that uh, normally waste away or have wasted away have gained a little bit more. I'm uh, Dr. Van Strickland. I'm an allergist and immunologist. I've been trained in allergy and immunology starting in about 1971. I met Ryan in 2014 when he was going to start a study here so he could get his stem cells in the United States. Ryan had been treated in Panama and by the physicians down there at the Stem Cell Institute but it became burdensome for him to travel, so we got a compassionate need exemption for him to get his stem cell therapy here in uh, Wichita, Kansas. By history, I knew that he was in very, very bad shape when he started them, and it was a, a hard decision for uh, uh, him and his parents to decide something completely new, and so he was really a crusader <laughs> Uh, and a maverick to be able to do it, but then I heard that it really uh, leveled him out, and so I was uh, anxious to go ahead and be able to continue the therapy here, and the therapy has leveled him out and has been a great benefit to him. Judy Hogan, I'm a licensed physical therapist. We met uh, in 2004. He started coming to this clinic and um, has come pretty consistently. Immediately after his stem cell treatment, we notice he, he, well, he looks healthier, he feels better, he has better muscle control, and we gain a little more mobility. I'm Linda Beyer. I'm a certified physical therapist assistant here. I started working with Ryan in 2004 once he started the stem cell research, he would seem a little more alert, a uh, little bit more energy. The more treatments he got, he would have a little more energy each time. They'd have kind of a cumulative effect. He could respond a little bit better. We could get in and especially the small muscles between the spine and his rods would get very, very tight. And we could get in and get those to relax a little bit better. Because of the treatments, it's like the muscle could lengthen just a little bit and it wasn't so tight pulling everything together. And at the end of the treatment, he could have a little bit better posture in the wheelchair. Um, he could have a little bit of bit, uh, better head control with his neck. Um, I would notice a difference in how easily he could breathe because the trunk and back muscles would give just a little bit. Of course, the rods don't let them give much, but we'll take any of it. <laughs> Ryan's, he's doing well. I mean, these treatments help. Uh, I've gone down multiple times with him and uh, he comes back feeling better. I can tell just by the way that he uh, speaks, um, he's, he feels better, he talks better, um, which sounds silly to anybody else that doesn't have problems breathing. One thing that we are continuously trying to get across is that these treatments do work, but they work temporarily. So for about three or four months, I'll see a gain in strength, and then it kind of peters off. There's been large gaps in between my treatments because of logistics of traveling and it not being here in the States. And I haven't been able to go every three or four months, which would be ideal. 
Yes, without the stem cell treatments, we see that diminish over that time. You know, the longer he goes, the worse it is, the weaker he is, and the more care from somebody else he needs. Ryan's disease, we've, uh, we've held the decline. I think we've held the decline in him more than I've held the decline in myself over those years that I saw him. Yeah, um, I, re I remember when the last time he got back from uh, Panama City, Panama, um, Ryan, he told me, he said, I didn't realize how bad I felt until I felt better. So it, it, that's a perfect example of what these treatments do because we get used to feeling a certain way as humans, but for, for him and his situation, you know, you, you deal with things day to day, you're, you're trying to, to live, and uh, he got these treatments and he felt so much better. Stem cells could cure this disease if you had the right ones, and we have ones that certainly help maintain the disease and improve the disease uh, and decrease the uh, loss of function. But yes, they're, they're definitely, they're, they're definitely uh, beneficial to him. If I had a kid with uh, muscular dystrophy, my kid would get them from the get-go. If I had muscular dystrophy, I would take them. Uh, I, the, there's, I've seen benefit and people with all kinds of diseases, uh, multiple sclerosis, uh, met people and their lupus and arthritis people uh, do better with these stem cells. Right now, if a kid would have been um, diagnosed with polio, they would live a completely normal life because there's a vaccine and they wouldn't even think twice if somebody and their adult life told them that they, when they were born, they had polio. Our goal is that someone that's born now with muscular dystrophy gets treated with adult stem cells every three or four months. And when they're an adult, they don't have to think about or know what their life would have been like without them because there was a treatment available right from birth, and they never had to see the adverse effects of the disease. Um, I think that's our ultimate goal. Yeah, uh, comparing with the other Duchenne patient who doesn't get stem cell treatments, we can alleviate things a little bit which gives him a little relief, but it's nowhere near permanent. It's not long lasting at all. Usually by the time he comes back for the next treatment, he's back where he was. So with Ryan, it tends to carry over because he's got the stem cells to build and help work on all that. So by getting the stem cell treatment, Ryan's muscles are able, with therapy we can go in and help break those down and the stem cells help him build new muscle and he is, he has less discomfort, he's stronger, he's, he's better and it lasts longer than the patient who doesn't get the stem cells, where we can make him feel good for a day or two, but it doesn't last because the muscles aren't rebuilding because he doesn't have the stem cells to do so. And he has Duchenne's as well. This is a horrible disease, you know, so if, if you can give somebody three months of uh, feeling good, um, it's, it's completely silly that, that this type of a treatment should not be available for, for folks, you know, here in the U.S. or elsewhere. Time is definitely a factor in this becoming legal. Um, I've been fortunate enough to receive as many treatments as I have and have prolonged my life because of it, but um, through 
different organizations and and growing up with being involved with MDA, I know way too many people that have not been fortunate enough to have a prolonged life and have lost their lives way too young. And we want this available as soon as possible. We, we want there to be a trial put in place and we want to continue proving its effectiveness in treating this disease. And whatever means possible, we can do, we are willing to do.